What's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to clear a single room based on certain circumstances. One of the things that we find in our current world or trend, if you will, is everybody wants to pie and work the room from the outside. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. There's a time and place for it. Regardless of what tactic or technique you use, there's pros and there's cons, and it's important for you to know what those pros and cons are so you know when and where to use them. So in, in, in this example, as I start pieing because I believe that's a fairly large room and I don't want to just run into that room and try to take on more than I can uh, fight, basically. I pie, clear what I need to. I go ahead and enter, ensure the entire room is clear. And then I'm coming out to ensure that I clear past this wall, that nobody's hiding. And then I move this direction, which we'll talk about here shortly. So this is a, pieing is a really good option, like I said, but what you don't see on the other side is a hallway that exposes my back the entire time that I'm pieing. So risk versus reward. Do I go ahead and do what's called a forced entry? I come in here like this and get myself out of this line of fire, clear the room, take on more room than I can technically take on at the time, or do I go ahead and say, there's a lot down there, it hasn't been cleared yet, I'm gonna go ahead and take this risk. I feel that this room is more of a threat than this hallway is, or in this case, the rest of the house. Speaking of threats, what are you doing to keep your personal information safe online? That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your information if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't even see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft, insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price, so let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, or you can try Aura free for two weeks using my link, aura.com forward slash frogman to start your two week free trial, also linked below in the description. And now let's get back to the scenario. What I did in this run is what's called a force corner entry. This is the way we used to do it. It's still valuable if you know what you're doing. Typically what you're gonna find due to psychological reasons, as I start to enter that path of least resistance, we find that shooters will not start sweeping until they start passing this threshold. And now they're opened up to a larger um, space that they have to work, okay? So to alleviate that, I'm literally clearing as much as I can, but my sights are roughly right in here. And as this space opens up, I just continue to sweep regardless of where I am in regards to the threshold. So I'm here, instead of me driving forward and then starting to sweep, as soon as it's clear, I'm sweeping on the way. By the time I get into or past the threshold, the room is pretty much clear. So we've made our way in here. Now it makes sense since the bed is not cleared that I'm going to come all the way around this way and go against what I just did, all right? I'm gonna throw you through a loop. There's no reason to not only travel that extra distance and expose yourself, what I'm going to do is what you typically have never seen on social media, is what operators do, is we will go over this object and clear. That's going to keep us from being exposed in those unknowns and allow us to use a room to the best of our capabilities. One thing that most people don't talk about is checking under the bed and doing methodical searches. Eat 
Now this is really situational and dependent. We have to ask ourselves is, the reason why we're checking our home for home robbery, break-ins, they're trying to actually steal things that are valuable, or are they potentially staging themselves until a later point at night when they can come out and potentially rape your wife and children? So let's talk about movement or just footwork in general. That's a, a very hot topic I get asked about a lot. You may have seen me do what's called a side shuffle where I'm just reaching with my right foot and bringing the left foot in, okay? Another option is crossing your feet. In this direction, if I'm moving to the right, I want to cross that left over the right. Okay. One of the things we often see on ranges is people have been told that crossing your feet backwards is safe, okay? And they try to demonstrate this. Well, it's safe in most conditions, but it throws your body out of balance. And as you can see, the upper body is already beyond your balance point. So as I'm reaching with this back foot, if I hit something, you're more likely to fall. So it's best to always cross over. This keeps a better center line of balance in the body and you're less likely to fall. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see more like this. and. Also let us know in the comments what you think on this overall movement and which method you choose.